Hi there amazing friends, it's Coot here, sending you love wherever you are around the world. Today, I'm going to deal a little bit in a short blog on jealousy. Jealousy, it's, a, it's been a theme that's come up recently because I've had quite a few people uh, emailing me about jealousy and stuff around jealousy uh, and dealing with jealousy and you know, <laughs> I really feel that when we are caught up in a pattern of feeling jealous, there's often that sense of contraction. I mean, who, who, which one of you have never felt jealous, right? When you see your boyfriend or girlfriend looking at and, uh, you know, a member of the opposite, or someone else, and, and you're like, uh, 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 they're going to leave me, they find that person more attractive than me, or, or you see someone who achieves a, a level of success, you know, a book, uh, uh, a trophy, uh, a promotion, and you're like, uh, you know, you feel that kind of contraction and that competitive streak kind of, uh, kind of like arises within you, within you. I know, I know those of us that are spiritual, we, we know we're not supposed to feel that, and we sometimes pretend we don't feel that, but it does arise at moments, right? When you feel that like not inside, when, when you see someone out there achieving something that you want or that you think you want and that it's not happening to you and you feel a certain tightening, a certain contraction, a certain like, well, I want that too. So we've all experienced jealousy at times and the reality is it's not pleasant. And I believe that when we are fixated on jealousy, a few things, we have really forgotten who we are in that moment. That the key, one of the keys is to we must remember who we really are. That you and I, we are unique expressions of the infinite life. We, you are a unique expression and, 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 and you are a living work of art to, never to be replicated, duplicated. There will be nothing and no one ever like you ever created on the planet. When you know that, when you know who you are, that you are one with life, that you are abundance itself, that you are whole, perfect, and complete, and you know that at the depth of your being, you realize there's nothing to be jealous about because when you are being your unique self fully, when you are being the most kind of unique, authentic expression of yourself, when you know that, then you realize there's no competition because there's only one of you. And because there's no competition because there's only one of you, you know, you know who you are. And there's peace in that when we forget who we are. When we forget who we really are, when we forget what we have to offer, when we start focusing out there, that person has something I don't have. She has something I don't have. Her hair's better. His, his girlfriend's better. You know, his nose is better. Her shoes are better. That, you know, their job is better. Their life's better. Their, the grass is greener. Whatever it is is better out there than what I have, is, is better out there than who I am, we begin to feel a sense of jealousy, a sense of contraction. The truth is amazing, friends, you are unique. The greatest gift you can give the world is not trying to be anyone else or trying to get what someone else has. The greatest gift you can give the world is the gift of being yourself fully. So as you take your focus back, take your focus back on focusing on what they have, what that person has, and, what, and as a result, what you don't have, and you turn inwards. You have to turn inwards and really ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? What's unique about me? Who am I? What's unique about me? What are my gifts? What do I have to offer? What do I have to give? What's unique about that? What is it only I can do? Because if you really refocus on your true self, your true gifts, and you commit to, rather than waiting, giving those gifts, giving those gifts to the world now, even exactly as you are, and stop waiting, because sometimes we often wait. We wait for a special place, a special time, a special moment, something to be different. And then often what happens is we see other people doing the very thing that we're waiting for. We see other people doing the very thing that we want to do, but we're waiting for something special to change in order to do it, and then we feel, uh, we feel jealous, you know? So rather than waiting, <clears throat> give your gifts now. When you're able to give your gift, yourself, your love, your expression, your art, exactly as you are, imperfect you might be, doesn't matter, give yourself exactly as you are, a sense of jealousy drops away because you're no longer fixated on what's out there and what that person's doing. You're connected to yourself, 
you're doing your best, you're being proactive, and you are allowing your unique light to shine. Your unique light to shine. Sometimes I hear people say, you know, could I, I don't know if I can give my gifts. You know, Marianne Williamson, has, 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 she's already written 15, 12 books, you know, Deepak has written books, uh, uh, Bill Gates has built this company, Mark Zuckerberg has done that, Oprah has done that, Russell Simmons has done that, Elon Musk has done that. What gifts do I have to offer? And the reality is, now you're focusing on, on, on what's out there. When you start realizing, wait a second, your dreams chose you for a reason. Your dreams chose you because you are the perfect person, uniquely crafted to fulfill that vision. When you realize that you, that you offering your gift Will, and you expressing your gift will, will express in a way unlike any other person. No one can say it like you. No one can do it like you. No one can express it like you. No one can dance it like you. No one can write it like you. No one can, can offer it like you. No one can do it like you. And it may not be perfect, but it doesn't matter because no one is you. And there are people right now, people right now around the world, my friends, who who need to hear it and can only hear it in the unique way that you have to say it with your unique voice, with your quirk, with your embarrassment, with your shyness, with your whatever your insecurity, with your exuberance. There's people that need to hear it exactly the way you have to hear it. And it doesn't matter who's done it. It doesn't matter what's out there. You're the one. So I say stop comparing yourself to people out there. One of the things that have to be given up is comparison. Stop comparing yourself to Bruce Lee, to Bob Marley, to the great singer, to Oprah, to Gandhi, to, you know, all of these people were unique because they weren't trying to be anyone else. You know, Bruce Lee wasn't trying to be Clint Eastwood. You know, he was just like, be like water. And Clint Eastwood can't do be like water. Right? Clint Eastwood can't do that. Martin Luther King talking about, I have a dream, wasn't trying to do Bruce Lee. He wasn't trying to do JFK. He was just doing himself. And in that, of knowing who, who am I really? Who am I? And asking yourself that question, who am I? And what's unique about me? And offering that, you free yourself from the game as you realize there's no, there's no competition. There are people that need to hear it in the way you have to hear it. I like ice cream. I don't eat ice cream a lot. Every now and again, I'll indulge in a little ice cream. As a kid, I used to eat a lot of ice cream, right? And I was a little chubby up until the age of 10 because I used to eat a lot of mint chocolate chip ice cream. And uh, like the whole tub, half the tub, the whole tub kind of thing. And, uh, <laughs> and my mother was like, where did the ice cream go? But you know, I realized not everyone likes mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm sure that there's someone right now around the world that might like wasabi soya sauce flavored ice cream. <laughs> if you're one of those people, you have some problems. We have to talk. But uh, I don't like wasabi soy sauce flavored ice cream, but I'm sure someone does. But I'm sure there's other folks that don't like vanilla ice cream, and other folks that don't like chocolate ice cream, and other folks that don't like strawberry. And some love strawberry. Some love mint chocolate. I like cookies and cream. So I'm sure some folks don't like cookies and cream. The point being, there are so many different flavors. And when you, you, my friend, you are a unique flavor of the divine. You are a unique flavor of life. You are a unique expression out of the creative mind of the divine artist of life, consciousness, life force, energy, intelligence expressing through you. You are living art. You're living art. I mean, is it possible to, to, to look at one art piece and go, mm, that's a, that's, that art's better than that art? Art is art. What is art? Art is kind of like whatever you allow it to be. You know, we think we have to go to a museum to, to enjoy art, but if you just look around at yourself, at, at all of the seven billion people on the planet, it's just truly incredible. So when you stop comparing yourself to others and allow your unique flavor Yes, your flavor may not be everyone's flavor, but when you're, uh, when you're so busy focusing on everyone else's flavor, you experience jealousy. When you're so busy focusing on someone else's flavor is better than your flavor, you experience jealousy. But when you remember, wait, I am my own unique flavor. I am my own unique expression. 
I am my own unique form. I am my own unique human being. And there will be someone, if you truly honor yourself, there will be someone, whether it's in relationship, whether it's, you know, because in relationship, we often think, oh, I have to be skinny, I have to be more this, I have to be more that. No, just be yourself. And the more you're able to be yourself, the less you're focused on what's out there, the less jealous you become, the more you honor who you are, the more you'll attract people into your life that are able to honor you. Jealousy drops away when you realize who you are and that who you are is unique, who you are is a unique expression of the life force energy. And there will be people that love your flavor. There will be people that find your flavor delicious. There will be people that cannot resist your flavor. And you'll be a blessing to those people. You know, I believe that when we are caught up in jealousy, we've not only forgotten who we are, but we've bought into this illusion that we are separate. That I am me and you are you and we are separate. And we have no, no interconnected in the interdependency. We're caught up in the ego to ego relationship. At the deepest level, when we realize who we truly are, which is life force, which is consciousness, and then I realize that what you are is consciousness, then I realize really there's, then we realize there's only one, there's only one life, one consciousness, this oneness, force, universe that is living us all. And then you realize that my success is your success, your success is my success, because at the deepest level, we're, we're like, one, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're birthed out of the one soul, the one spirit, the one life, the one consciousness, the one energy. And then there's no competition because the reality is we're all one humanity, my friends. Whether you're from India, whether you're black, African, gay, straight, white, Democrat, Republican, short, tall, fat, thin, doesn't really matter. We're just one life evolving, one humanity connected by love, connected by spirit, connected by life and consciousness itself. Then we have to ask ourselves in that moment, how can there be competition? <laughs> how can there be competition if at the deepest level we are made of the same stuff? How can there be competition if really you and I essentially are one? The feeling of jealousy arises when we forget who we are, which are souls, which is divine, which is infinite. So amazing, friends. Stop focusing on what's out there. Stop focusing on who's out there. Connect with yourself. Know who you are. Express your gifts. Honor your unique flavor and give it the best you can and celebrate yourself because life makes no mistakes. You are a unique expression of life. Give it, express it, love it. Be you. Be you. Love now. If you enjoyed this video blog, I invite you to share it with some of your amazing friends and I look forward to connecting with you more on another video, another blog. See you soon. Love now.